baseball drafts and the season upcoming here this weekend and the rest of the week till April 1st when opening day is. But here's a few batters you should target in your fantasy leagues. And these guys, I believe, are going to have huge breakout seasons hitting the baseball. The first guy's Toscar Hernandez, Toronto Blue Jays. So Toscar Hernandez, we know last season was a great year for him. And we know he's in a great lineup with a lot of good players around him. And he's going to be on top of the order here for the Toronto Blue Jays. So Hernandez last season, he came out of the gate with huge power numbers in the 60-game season. And he also missed a few games as well with injury. So it was a good year for him on the season. They're ranking him 72 coming into fantasy drafts. An 87th pick on average. So he's going about 7th or 8th round on most fantasy drafts. But this guy, he's got potential. If he can reach the numbers, I believe he can to be a top 40 or 50 player this season. Last year, 33 runs scored, 16 home runs, 34 RBIs, 6 stolen bases, a 289 batting average, and a 340 on base. So a very solid season for Hernandez last year. The only thing is on base isn't that high for what his batting average was. And this season, they're projecting him 28 home runs, 76 RBIs, 9 stolen bases, a 252 batting average, a 314 on base, and 74 runs, so with the batting average, I agree. This season, I don't think it's going to be 290 like it was last year. 250 to 260 range. But I think Toscar Hernandez, if he stays healthy and gets things going early, I think he could hit 35 to 40 home runs this season. And he's a player definitely on the breakout list, in my opinion. And like I said, this Blue Jay team, they have a lot of big boppers. And a lot of balls are going to be flying out over there in Toronto or Buffalo. Depends where they play this season is the Toronto Blue Jays. That's going to break out this year is Austin Riley of the Atlanta Braves. So Riley, he was a top prospect a few seasons ago. And he's been struggling, no doubt about it, the first few seasons in the major leagues for Riley with a low batting average and a high strikeout rate. But Riley this year, he's going to be the everyday third baseman. And I think he'll settle in and start to do what he did in the minor leagues a few seasons ago to earn the top prospect ranking in the Braves system. And last season for Austin Riley, 24 runs, 8 home runs, 27 RBIs, a 239 batting average. And he still had a pretty good on-base percentage with the low average at 301. And this season, I think he's going to be a guy that definitely breaks out and hits 25 to 30 home runs. On the season, they're ranking him 204 coming in. And in fantasy drafts, he's on average getting picked at 239th. So this is a guy you could get very late in your drafts, anywhere from the 18th to the last round, which is the 23rd round in most fantasy leagues and fantasy drafts. And Riley this season, the projections are 22 homers, 71 RBI batting average, and a 310 on base. So those are pretty solid numbers. By, like I said, I think the power numbers are going to be higher. And even the batting average, I think, could be 255, 260. But I just expect a breakout season here for Riley. And last season, he did hit the eight home runs in the limited year. So I think he could take the next level here for the Brave team and fantasy owners. The next hitter is Dom Smith of the New York Mets. Or Dom Smith last season, he's arguably was the Mets' best hitter in 2020. But Smith, it took him time to see the field, but once... Yo, when his Cespedes stopped it out last season, it was all signals go for Dom Smith, playing every day, and plus the DH helped the New York Mets a lot to play Dom Smith, and obviously Pete Alonso as well, but Dom Smith this season, he should be pretty much the everyday left fielder for the New York Mets here, especially versus right-handed pitching, and Dom Smith on the season, they're ranking him 127 coming into fantasy drafts, and his average pick is 127, so about 10th to the 12th round range they get in Smith. And Smith last season, he was very impressive with his extra base hitting. He was impressive with a good batting average, and he had an on-base that was way up there as well. So last season for Dom Smith, 10 home runs, 42 RBIs, a 316 batting average, a 377 on-base, and 27 runs scored. So that's a very solid season for Smith. And Smith, he was a Met top prospect three, four seasons ago. And last season, he definitely lived up to the hype. But now I want to see what he could do in a full season. And I think this could be a total breakout season for Dom on the year. And the projections are 22 home runs, 84 RBIs for Smith, a 297 batting average, and a 355 on base. So if he could put up those type of numbers once again... 
that's definitely a breakout season in my opinion. And if you could get a guy, like I said, in the 10th or 12th round area who could put up solid numbers like that all around the board, it's definitely a breakout and definitely a steal as well. The next hitter, CJ Cron of the Colorado Rockies. So Cron, he's a player, we know he's a big bat, but he hasn't been on fantasy radars in a couple seasons since he was on the Minnesota Twins where I believe he hit 30, 35 homers one season. But now, like I said, he's on Colorado. And in Coors Field, you know how it goes. That ball flies out of the park. And Kron, he's a home run or nothing, pretty much. So this season, I believe it's going to be more of the same of Kron. And Kron, he's not on many fantasy baseball rosters, that for sure. But they're ranking him at a pretty decent rank at 167 coming into the season. So that's about... 14th to the 16th round range, depending if you're in a 10 or 12 team league. But on his average pick, he's going 233. So Kron's really falling down the draft boards. And he's going in about, like I said, 18th to the 23rd round in the later rounds of the draft. And last season, it was a horrible year for Kron. But he also was injured as well. Four home runs, eight RBIs, a 190 batting average, but he still reached on base. A lot with a 346 on base. And this season, they got pretty great projections for him. 33 home runs, 86 RBIs, a 245 batting average, and a 323 on base with 70 runs scored. So CJ Cron, if he puts up those projections, he's definitely a breakout player. And if you could get that late in your draft, which I'm trying to do, get some players like this, that's a home run, literally, for fantasy owners. And the Rockies, a guy they signed to a minor league deal who could put up big numbers like that. And the fifth and final breakout option at here this season in your fantasy drafts you should target is Brandon Lowe of the Tampa Bay Race. Of Brandon Lowe, we know he's been a good ball player the last couple of seasons. But now let's see what he could do in a full season of service time. Making him 94 and his average pick has been 76 for Brandon Lowe. So Lowe... He qualifies also at first, second base, and outfield. So that's great versatility. And he's going in most fantasy drafts about 7th to the ninth round area. Last season with the Rays, 14 home runs, 37 RBIs, a 269 batting average, and a 362 on base. So an amazing season it was. That was considered a breakout, but that was only a two-month span. Let's see what Brandon Lowe could do in a full season. And the projections are pretty high up there for him as well. 32 home runs, 95 RBIs with a 268 batting average, and a 350 on base with 87 runs scored. So if Brandon Lowe could put up those numbers and help fantasy owners, that's a huge breakout season and most likely top 40, top 50 ranking numbers in fantasy baseball. So that's a few breakout hitters you should target in your fantasy drafts this weekend till it winds down and the next couple days before the major league season starts.